A lot of people on the internet talk about using vinegar to remove rust from metal. People will leave it in there for a couple of days or they'll leave it in there for a couple of weeks. The idea being that the longer you leave it in there, the better job it'll do of removing the rust from the metal. I wanted to try this process out. So I gathered up some rusty tools and put them in this trash can filled with vinegar. I planned on leaving the tools in the mix for the summer, but then life got in the way and here we are 19 months later and I have no idea what's left. If they've been destroyed, it's not that big of a deal because they were all kind of unusable anyway. What you're looking at now are pictures of tools that didn't make the cut because they weren't rusty enough. You can see these are pretty rusty. The ones that did end up being a part of the experiment were covered in this rusty powder. They were really unpleasant to use, if not unusable. So if these come out destroyed, that's not the end of the world. It's a part of science. So if there is anything left in this can, I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna scrub it up in this container. And then I'm going to neutralize the vinegar in this container with baking soda and water. And then I'm going to use prep and etch to prepare it for painting and protect it until I can coat it in just some spray clear coat. Let's see what we've got. I got some files here. These files are just crazy thin, and some of the, the parts of the wrenches have disintegrated. It's pretty much just chunks of stuff left now. New plan, this is now gonna be the baking soda and water container. There's still some tools left as you can see, but this is really, really gross looking. So I'm gonna neutralize in here and then the next one is gonna be a rinse bucket and then it'll go to the prep and etch. This is kind of crazy. This must be chroming and it is coming off. So I scrubbed all of them and they're still pretty dirty. So I changed out this water and now I'm gonna just transfer them back over. Now we'll do some prepping ash. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so now I can take all the tools out of here and rinse them off. Got it, the spring. It's been 24 hours, so all these parts should be dry. So now I'm going to spray them with Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover Set and Clear Spray. The clear coat's dry, so now we can take a closer look at the tools. Most of these look pretty good. 
there's some obvious damage that happened. This wrench used to have the box end on both ends and uh, now this is more of a pry bar. There's major pitting that happened on certain pieces like the ends of the Allen wrenches. You can see it looks kind of like a sponge. I talked to my friend Henry who's a metals guy. He talked about doing a similar process but instead of using vinegar he used much stronger acids and he saw similar results quicker. Evidently this sponginess is because these holes were rust pockets that just weren't visible before. The acid goes after rust, so it just ate all the way into the metal. A lot of these sockets are the impact type, so they weren't chrome plated, meaning that they were more vulnerable to rust. I am most surprised by this little spring. It's nuts that it made it through with as thin as it is. It was previously inside of this ratcheting wrench and so that must have protected it from rust in the first place. The gray color is from the etching. Evidently at microscopic levels this etching affected the different crystals of the metal in different ways from up here at a human eye level that looks gray. You can see inside some of the sockets too that I didn't clean well enough in there and it already kind of rusted again. That's not a big deal because the, the wrench and the socket specifically, they might have lost enough metal to not be worth using anymore. For example, this three quarter wrench here. Take my Craftsman wrench. That's 0.75 compared to the three quarter on this industrial wrench. That's 0 0.8, 0 0.79. It's not a small amount. And you certainly wouldn't want to be turning real hard on a bolt head and strip it out. But it was still a worthy experiment and some of this stuff just looks really cool. It's almost like artwork. Like the end of this file that dissolved. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.